Hello everyone, good day. Welcome to the Academy for Digital Learning and Mastery Studio, ADLM YouTube channel. Um, I'm sure you've been enjoying all of the series on this channel in the last um, few months where we've given you a very, some very amazing content on Plan Swift and Ruby. We have a detailed lecture on the channel where you can easily learn how to use Plan Swift software. Link to that will be in the description of this video and the card up above. So you can check that out. Don't forget to like this video if you find this information useful and subscribe to this channel for more updates on new technologies in point serving profession. Okay, now in this video, we'll be looking at the new and amazing plugin that was designed by ADNM. Now, this Revit plugin is to help you with 3D quantity takeoff for mechanical works. As you can see, this is a complete mechanical design that has been designed by the mechanical engineer. We have both the mechanical equipment, the air ducts, and we have our pipes with all of the fittings. You see this here, you have all of your pipe fittings, the connections. You have your mechanical equipment. You have your plumbing fixtures, your tap closet, and all. So this is a complete mechanical design for your work. Now, as quantity surveyors, you can easily just to pay a quantity takeoff directly and a few clicks with this new improved tool. What you have to do is this. You see, for those that might have these plugins, we have the architecture plugin. You can check the last series of videos on the ADLM architecture plugin for architectural quantity takeoff. We have the structural plugin for structural works quantity takeoff. And we have the MAP plugin now, it just came up. Now, with this MAP plugin, let's say you want to measure for your eight terminals. If there are eight terminals in your model, all you just have to do is click. And once you click this, you have a pop up box here. The um, tool comes up, or you can do all you have to do is just select the floor level. It tells you there's no eight terminals at that level. It's the first floor, no eight terminal. So that means there is no eight terminals in this project. Okay, so it's as easy as this. So I'll just also verify from your floor plans. You check the HVAC floor plan here. So the design, there is no air terminal here. You can really have your air dots, but it is not connected to a terminal. Okay. So let's move on to the next. Um, let's go back to our 3D view. And let's have your adopt fittings. That's your adopt and duct fittings. For this now, you can select each of the floor levels. So with this, you have the duct name, the tab, numbers, elbow, elbow. So this is the fitting name, and this is it. And you have the number. So you can with this, you can just input this in your bill of quantity, attach the price, and or so you can just export this to Excel or save to your model. Second floor, so we have the fittings. The next floor, you have your fittings also. Then, if there's any fitting on your floor, so that goes for that. Now, we have the next one, which is your HVAC duct. That's the HVAC duct itself. Select the floor, first floor. You have your meters connections, so you have a total length. So, uh, 152 by 152 size of this total length is this. You have this also, so you have your total length per floor level. So if you want to do your point takeoff platform, you have all of this available to you right here. Okay. Now the next one is your duct equipment. That's your ARN unit channel. For this year, you can just select this. We have fan coil, that's your extractor fan. We have 16 of that on this floor. On this second floor, we have also 16. Third floor, we have 16 also. That's our extractor fans. And check out the roof. Okay, on the roof, we now have the air and units on the roof, your pipe covers on the roof, and your exhaust ventilator. We have it on that on the roof. So, all of this, these are your air and units on the roof. So, we check the model here. You see your air and the unit here. This is the air and the unit which is on the roof. Okay. Now, that's for each back box. Now, let's look at plumbing. For that, we have plumbing equipment. We select plumbing equipment now. Have this here. Select the floor level. So you have your bathtub and you have your water closet on this floor. Check the second floor also. So if you check the, each of the floor levels here, you have the next floor, you have your water closet. Then there's nothing on the roof. So that shows that 
Okay. So you have all of that here. So that is for your takeoff for your so you see your water closet and your um your toilet seat here, that's your water closet and your bathroom. Of that is here for you in your model. With this, okay, let's measure for pipes. The pipe work also select pipe let's measure for the complete pipe work and the first floor. Yeah, it's calculating all of that to give you a lot of pipe information for that flow. So on this here, we have the pipe name and the length. One inch pipe, that's one and a half inch pipe rather, that's 75 mm. We have the 50 mm pipe, we have the 25 mm pipe, we have the um 50 mm pipe here also. So we have all of this at various pipe sizes, the name and the length. Also, we have the various fittings, elbow, trap, tees, so all of the pipe fittings and fixtures are all on this uh yeah so police well, can just easily compare on details in the quantities for the second floor also this calculates for that and shows you the quantity so each of the floor level you have to get all of the quantities okay so if you need this plugin can always reach out to ADNM and I always make this available to you the link to get the plugin the main discussion of this video okay now this is a mechanical design for this design now for electrical for an electrical model you see this is an electrical model where we have our lightning and all so this year can just come back to this MEP plugin select your lightnings the floor level you have your ceiling lights buffer lights and rectangular lights two lamps four lamps so you have all of this I have the entire light switch also here for this level. For this also, there's no light to the future second floor. So that's for this here. See so all of these are all on a single floor down. If you check this out here, it's get it's connected to level one. So that is right. All of this is showing to down lightning at that. So if the whatever is being designed is what you would get there. Okay. So that's for this. Now for your sockets and distribution boards, we check the floor level. So this shows you your on that socket receptacles, 12 receptacles, start this here file that's double. Uh, the standard receptacle is 256 in the entire project. Fire alarm control panel one. These are your distribution boards. Lightning appearance. This is distribution board 280 volt, 480 volt, 480 volt, 125 ampere. So you have all of this in from this in your model here. So it shows that all of these are linked to level one based on design. So with this say you can easily select and prepare your input quantity takeoff and input in your Excel sheet or export to Excel at the price and if the quantity is ready. So you see in less than a few minutes you're able to do all of this. I'm sure you will need this. And if you want, you want to check, you can check out our previous videos of the CAD above for the videos on architecture and structural plugin and how to make use of them. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you find this information useful. I'll see you in the next video.